104 on Channel 95. Seven with Connie and Curtis. 71 degrees right now. 84 in sunshine today. Scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. Scattered thunderstorms on Wednesday. Scattered thunderstorms on Thursday. Scattered thunderstorms on Friday and on Saturday. Ah, nice, thing, nice thing about that, though, scattered thunderstorms. That means you're not going to see one in Kentwood. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine. That's true. You won't see a thing. Good point. Hey, we got about uh, two hours left here to watch our John Legend karaoke videos. You can uh, watch them. They're all online at mychannel957.com. The one with the most views at 9 o'clock is going to win on stage tickets to the John Legend show on Wednesday. Wednesday at Frederick Meyer Gardens. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Plus, you get to meet. John Legend. Pretty fun. That's I was, pretty cool. I was watching, uh, I, I was cool. looking at them. Some of them are stuck. They're stuck? Like they're not gaining, uh, they're not gaining any views and there's some weird like hiccup with YouTube. So oh. like some are stuck and uh, who knows? I mean, Amanda's really going to have some some settling to do here. It's going to be crazy <laughs> for her. We Good luck with that, Amanda. Yeah. I, I, I watched, uh, so I get like the, the history report of yeah. what we watch on YouTube. Right. And uh, Amanda watched the why do YouTube videos stick video like 17 times this weekend. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So, what did yeah. it say? Why? Um, there's a couple reasons why. Uh, if people are watching it all over the world, there's various services on YouTube okay. so it could be trying to catch up from that okay or it means that people are just like re-watching it on their like they're just hitting refresh on their browser so it keeps trying to add it up okay and YouTube's trying to catch up from that as well okay so it's one of those two reasons interesting yeah it's, it's that crazy. YouTube <laughs> YouTube who who would have thunk it who would have thunk that it that YouTube is so crazy but yeah you still get about two hours to watch those videos uh, check them out my channel 95.7 Dot com. So, Amanda, um, you were at Michigan International Speedway yesterday. I was. Did you get engaged? I did not. Oh. Are you happy? I am, yes, very happy. Okay. Now, your least favorite driver won, Jimmy mm-hmm. Johnson. How does that make you feel? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say he's my least favorite, but yeah, we weren't we weren't exactly happy with the outcome. Who is your least favorite? My least favorite? Like, if you see a guy win and I, what, it just ruins your day. Probably Vickers. Oh, Brian Vickers. Or anybody Seriously. that's ever fought with Joey Logano. Oh, you're a Logano. Joey what? You're a Logano Joey guy. Logano. Logano? <laughs> Logano, yeah. Logano. So you're a Logano guy. <laughs> you like him uh, like him a bunch. Now, Mike is a uh, Jeff Gordon fan. Right. So, yeah, neither one of them got to see their guy win. Where did uh, Jeff end up? He was in, I think he was like 15. No, he was above Joey Logano, so like top ten, I think. Okay. okay. Now last year, didn't uh, Gordon crash? Like he did at fir- like the seventh lap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of the first. Laps. And he was out of the race. Uh, so then Mike's sitting there like, "Well, I got Pouting. my, I got I'm my, uh, I got my Gordon jacket and hat and sunglasses and shoes and socks and gloves." <laughs> that's not even an. That's not even an exaggeration. No, not at all. Really, he's nope. got everything. Does he wear gloves? Tell me Mike, he does, Mike, Mike, Mike does, does not, not wear gloves, gloves okay. now. Right. He, he needs it's a little to. hot out for gloves. Yeah, I was going to say. Okay, so apparently there was a guy who was sitting near you, mm-hmm. a couple, right? Yes. And the woman got, like, heat sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she actually passed out on the man sitting next to her. Uh-huh. What? Yeah, so they tried to get an usher, and an usher came up, and she was, like, very sick, like, getting physically ill in a bag. Okay. Oh, she was puking. Did yes. she empty the bag first? <clears throat> I don't know what was in it. It was, like, a... Was, Can- it her, was it her bag? It was her bag. It was okay. like a canvas tote bag. <laughs> she was getting sick in it. Oh, poor thing. So they take her away, right? Mm-hmm. Put her in some air conditioning. Yeah, so her husband goes with her, or yep. her boyfriend, or whoever he was. Okay. Yeah. They leave. And probably about 25 minutes later, the guy comes back. <laughs> and they had left some stuff sitting there, so I thought maybe he was coming back to collect the stuff. Yeah. No. He sits down, watches the rest of the race. <laughs> <laughs> And you don't know where she was? No. Uh, I'm guessing was, they just took her somewhere where, you know. Gave her some fluids and off. let her yeah. cool off. Right. Well, and- so Amanda's told me that story this morning and I said, that's a guy thing to do because, you know, no woman is going to leave and go back. She's going to stay with her husband and make sure he's okay. No. That yes. is bull. Yes. That, is, that bull. is not bull. If there was a woman, if let's say it's a women event, okay, so you're at like the Chippendales. And and I'm there with you, and I get sick. You're going back to the Chippendales, or no. if it's a Britney Spears concert, you know damn well Amanda's no. walking back in there and leaving Mike at the. At Would the you, tent. Amanda? 
if Mike was really that sick, no. I could not, even if it was Britney Spears, who's my favorite. He's not that sick. He's better now. He's in the AC. He's got his fluids. If he, if Mike was vomiting in a bag, I'm going to stay with oh. him. Or we're if just going to leave and go home. If she was better, she'd be back out at the race. She didn't want to go back out. She was hot. She was sunburnt. She didn't want to go back out. She was not better. She was. She, she was, was not fine. better. You she's, have no idea what she was. She's in the AC. You have no idea what she was. I tell you what, though, if it was something that you really wanted to do, Connie, mm-hmm. and Dan was sick, you would be you back out there. You think I would there. go back out? I know a thousand percent you You're would. You're wrong. I would make sure he was okay. You would skip. If he passed out and was first puking yes. and then passed out. You're at an outdoor. You're wrong. You're at an outdoor ABBA concert. Your favorite You're band wrong. in the whole wide world. You're wrong. Dan gets like some sort of uh, sickness. And then he's in the first aid tent, and they're like, yeah, he's going to be fine. We're just going to leave him here. You're wrong. You don't go back in? No, he would come with. I would wait with him until he was able to go back in. What if he didn't want to go back? He's like, oh, no, I just want to stay here and lay in the bed. No, I would go go home. I would just say, okay, well, we're just going to go home. Let's just get in the car and drive home. Like a hundred bucks? If to the point where he passed out on someone else who was watching. Whatever yeah. event, Painting in a bag and then having to be basically yeah. carried out because you passed out. That's not anything to mess around with. No, but now assume that she's fine in the tent. That's how I assume that she's okay. She's in the AC first aid tent just hanging and out. Maybe she said, go back out. Do you want to go back out? And she's like, no, I don't want to go back out. A, I'm hot. B, I'm embarrassed that I threw up in front of everyone mm-hmm, around that's us. That's true. I don't want to go back out there. You go. I'm going to watch on TV <sighs> here in this tent. Yeah, I don't think I'd go back out. I think I would stay. You would stay. And make sure he was okay. You were the best person ever. <laughs> I told you about the uh, uh, the deep sea fishing trip that Kate and I went on on our honeymoon. Mm-hmm. As soon as right. we got out of the harbor, she started throwing up, and they threw her down in the uh, in the basement of the boat and gave her a bucket and put her on the couch and said, go to bed, and we fished for four hours. If you fall asleep, does uh, does that go away? She did not, it did not go it away didn't go for away. her. She threw up the entire, oh, so we were fishing and laughing okay. and drinking beers, and we just hear, Whoa. Oh, and, oh, that sucks. And they're like, sorry, Mon, you know, you're not going to get lucky on your honeymoon tonight. I'm like, did they even <laughs> offer to take her back? No, no, there was no way they were going to take her back. That sucks. We had all paid a lot of money to be out there. That's why, you know, you pay your money to go to the NASCAR race, you go back out and watch the NASCAR race. You pay your money to go to Britney Spears, you go back out to the show. That's no one feels bad about that at all. I would feel bad, but Dan wouldn't. If you left exactly, Dan, no, if you left Dan, Dan wouldn't want <laughs> exactly. you. Exactly, Dan would want you to leave. Go to the mm. show. He would be like. Well, the thing is, I don't care what he wants. I want to make sure he's okay. Okay, but he's. Let's say that they tell you he's fine. That's fine. And then he you're says, not going to change my mind. I says, think I, I would don't want to go out. You, I think I would stay. Crazy. I don't believe Amanda would stay. Maybe you would because you're stubborn enough to, to <laughs> be like, hold it over him like you ruined the, he ruined your whole weekend. But yeah, I don't I think Amanda do would either. stay. Britney Spears, you're back out there. No. Come on. I just watched Mike slump over on somebody and pass yeah, out. Yeah, that would freak me out. But now he's he just fine. Passed out. Is he, though? Yeah, you don't know. I feel like we wouldn't even be sitting in the first aid tent. We would just go. Well, you'd sit there until he was okay to walk. No, no, she would whisk him out. (laughs) You ruined my weekend. Here we are. Let's go. You're driving. Uh, Want to be part of the show? Call the horror. 723 and channel 95.7 with Connie and Curtis. 70 degrees now. 84 in sunshine today. John Legend. Uh, Hopefully you are voting or watching the videos that we have up online. Yep. My channel 957.com will link you up. You can uh, watch them. The one with the most views at 9 o'clock is going to win on stage tickets for that John Legend show. Now, speaking of sold out shows at Frederick Meyer Gardens, yeah. we got a, another one uh, coming up. It's Philip Phillips. Maybe you've heard of him. He has the uh, first name that's also his last name with an S. <laughs> and uh, we've got uh, a special show that we're doing with him at the Bob. Yep. Uh, he's going to stick around. So they, they break down the set. They do everything at the Meyer Gardens. And then he's going to hang out with us uh, on Tuesday. The next day, right? Uh, right around lunchtime. He's going to uh, just play a couple songs. It's not a, a full-blown concert. It's just him hanging out strumming a guitar, singing some songs. And then he's got another show that night, so he's got to get out of here. Yeah. But the only way you can see this uh, special little intimate performance and hang out, actually hang out in a room with Philip Phillips. You get to get your picture taken with him, too. Is by uh, listening to Channel 95.7. We got your first chance at those tickets at 9.30 this mm-hmm. morning. It's going to be a, a big, busy time. There's so much going on. 
oh. in Grand Rapids I, and surrounding areas for the next several months. Can you believe that uh, Art Prize is just like a, a few months away? No, like, it seems uh, like we just had our. Remember, yeah, we were talking about the golf tea thing. Tea time. Yes, yeah. tea time. <laughs> now, I've heard that we're getting something even crazier down here at 50 Monroe really? uh, this year. I don't mm. know what it is, I don't know a lot of specifics, but I saw them measuring. The other day. That's funny. So they had tape measures. It means and it's going to be big. They were measuring high and out. So I don't mm. know what they're putting down here. I'm hoping like a uh, maybe we get that giant T-Rex that spit fire. If we get him, that'd be cool. Do you remember him? I do. He was awesome. If we get <laughs> him, loved him. If we get him over on that side, that'd be pretty cool to yeah. watch that. So much. So much going on this summer, though. You're there right. Is. I mean, it, everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, there's something to do here in Grand Rapids. People always say, you know, what? what is your favorite thing about Grand Rapids? You can't even pick one. <laughs> really, right? There's so much to do. Mm-hmm. You just walk around and look at things. Eating. I'm a big eater. Eating. <laughs> you are a big eater. Oh, I can't help myself. <clears throat> did you eat anything at the Sun of the Beach Festival? Uh, I did not. Neither no, did I. I should have. I should have, needed, needed a base. <laughs> 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 Had no base. Uh, Had no base at all. Yeah, we should have definitely eaten something. We didn't know. We were I, too oh, busy nope. running around. That's a lie. Uh, what did you eat? I ate part of someone's elephant ear. Oh. I don't remember who it was. They were standing hey. there, and it smelled so cinnamon and so delicious that I grabbed a bit and put it in my mouth. And Did you know the turned. elephant ears were going to be there? No. I didn't either. No. How come nobody <laughs> told us the elephant ears were going to be there? <sighs> I was so excited when I walked in. That's all we would have focused on. <laughs> <laughs> they can't tell us. That's probably they, they why. have to tell us. That they just tell bits it, and pieces. It's a need to know. Exactly. Uh, basis but around I was, here. I was standing, uh, watching the show. I was singing along to uh, to some Jimmy Buffett, mm-hmm. uh, laughing and singing, and the cinnamon smell hit me. And I looked down, and it was right there. And two people were sharing one, and they were sitting you in stick chairs. Your mouth right on I it. I grabbed a bit, a chunk off, and I ate. And then they whipped around, and uh, they're like, "Hey!" And I'm like, "Can I have another bite of that? That's delicious." Like, "Sure." So I took a little more. So yes, I ate elephant ear at the Son of a Beach Festival. So That's much fun. That's horrible. What? No, it's delicious. You just walk up to people and grab their food. I Curtis. was standing. One of these days. That's their fault. You're going to get punched right in your face. That was their fault. Nobody gets punched at a uh, Jimmy Buffett cover band concert. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that was the most you peaceful crowd. You will find a way. No. You do that to the wrong person, and they're going to turn around. No, these people they were happy. Well, I'm glad happy that they were, share. but someday that's going to backfire on you. I don't think so. One of your little shenanigans. No one who's eating an elephant ear is going to <laughs> punch you. Like, oh, you better not be putting your hand, grimy hands on my elephant You would ear. punch me? Yes. <laughs> grimy hands? I had the sanitizer in my pocket. Right. Grimy hands. Mm-hmm. You're the worst. And I ate everything I took. Well, that's good. I, I grabbed the outside and then grabbed it. It was One delicious. One of these days. You're saying you would have clocked me. No, I wouldn't have clocked you. No, you would have shared. I know you, but somebody, I'm entertained by you, but right. you know, there are people who let's may say, not be. Let's say a stranger gets between <laughs> you and your food, like a mama bear. What are you doing? I mean, if some strange person walked yeah. up and grabbed my food. Yeah, what would you do? Um, If they stuck their hand on it, yep. I would not be eating it, but I would also not sit there. Took a, took a bit. So here's what happened. I, I'm singing. It would not be a good scene. I'm behind you. I, the cinnamon hits my nose. I grab a bit of it off. I put it in my mouth. You turn around, and then I say, can I have some more of that? And you say yes. You're saying you would punch me in the jibs. <laughs> no, I would. <laughs> no, I, pro- I don't know. I don't know if I would. I probably wouldn't punch you because I'm not a, a fighting person. Okay, you're a lover. I mean, I'm a, I'm a grown-up now. Would you, have, would you have been disgusted? Yes. You would have. Yes. Oh. You get away with a lot because you're Curtis from the radio. These people did not know who I was. I was just behind them, and I grabbed yeah. it and took it and Was ate this it. after we were on stage? This was before we were on stage. Okay. They did not Does know. that fit your argument better? No. Or? No, honestly. <laughs> if was Jimmy really Buffett before? was on, weren't you on before Jimmy Buffett? Yes. Damn it. Oh! It was after I was on stage. Okay, so they did know who you were, probably, because you had been on stage. I don't believe so. <laughs> <laughs> They did not. They had no idea. They were not looking at the stage when you were up there with a microphone. Maybe they talking. were peeing, right? And I only talked for like two seconds. Mm-hmm. Mostly, I was Wendy. So? Blah 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 blah. <laughs> My goodness, seriously. My goodness. That's we, because we made Wendy do the announcement. We get it. There are rules here. <laughs> My goodness. She said to me, "Do you want to read the rules?" I'm like, "No, there are rules." I figured the one not rule was rules. Don't pee in the sand. Don't poop in the sand. <laughs> don't take any sand home with you. Those should have been the only rules. <laughs> Those weren't rules. Those were we were thanking people. Oh, like people so. So many rules. <laughs> My goodness. Rules. No, the whole, it's like eight pages of rules. <sighs> Read these. I'm like, ugh, no, you're giving me a headache. 
I gotta go sit down. Did you even listen to what she was saying? No, she was rules. They were not rules. <laughs> I, I read them. No, I they saw, weren't I rules. saw the sheet. There were a lot of rules, and then it was thanks to all the people who were there. But there were rules. Like Amanda, the, I, mean, I didn't hear any rules. Okay, thank you. Of course you did. Except to have fun. <laughs> Except have fun. <laughs> well, then what's your excuse? Oh, that's just your I face. I did have fun. <laughs> that's oh. just her face. <laughs> I looked over at Amanda at one point, and she had the uh, the BRF going on something fierce, and I was like, what is wrong with Amanda? Then I remembered, oh, that's just her face. At one point, Curtis made Amanda follow him around. How long yes. did that last? Uh, well, we got to three people, and then the fourth person I was talking to, yeah. and I look over, and Amanda never even made it onto the sand. Like, didn't even come I by. I did make us. it on the sand. I was standing right behind you. And then you walked away. Like, you just went, hey, 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 hey. And then I saw you were walking away. I'm like, I guess we're done. No, we're I waited done. for you. We're done with the Amanda. Why did tour. you make her follow you around? Because people were asking to meet Amanda. They're like, where's Amanda? And I, she I was hanging out with Mike. I did a whole lap, and I said, oh, I think maybe she left or something. So then when I saw her, she's like, no, you were, st- I saw you running around. And I said, I was looking for you. <laughs> and how am I supposed to know you're looking well, for me? Walk up to me, right? Walk up to me and say, wait, what are you running around? She's like, I saw you running around like a crazy person. I yeah, didn't know you look like an idiot. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> well, the next tra- time I see you running around, I will approach you. Because I'm looking for you. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, either you or I have to pee, and you weren't over by the porta potty. <laughs> you don't know where the porta john is, so you're just doing laps? <laughs> yes. You wait, didn't see those 10 I have orange to pee. things? I have to pee real bad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, so I took a man around and I introduced her to funny. everybody who I had already told that she had left for the evening. <laughs> and then uh, eventually she had left for the evening. So then I had to say, oh, I don't. I think she's gone. Mm. It was a sad time. Well, you know Amanda's not going to do that on her own because she's very uncomfortable. Yes. yes were, were there right? too many people there for you? No, I was fine. Okay. You were fine as long as you were standing there not talking to anybody. No, people came up to me and said hi. Yeah. And I was talking with them. <laughs> I we mean, need to have an Amanda booth. We, we just need an Amanda, a big <laughs> sign. Amanda. That, a sign. <laughs> that Amanda. Yes, with an arrow pointing down. Amanda has Amanda. a hat. Right. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. Yes, we will. And Amanda booth is good too because then she doesn't have to do anything. She can just have a stool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We could have sure. turned. We could have turned one of the porta potties into your, uh, your my booth, yes. and then if I had to go, then I wouldn't have to worry about that. You just sit there. <laughs> that going, sounds like a brilliant idea. Going to the and bathroom. I think we do that we every are so time. full of good ideas. <laughs> That's what we do. I know. Just have ideas. I know. <laughs> We're idea people. And then Russ came by at the Sun of the Beach Festival, and Russ he was, was there. there. You didn't see Russ. Did I see Russ? I don't know. I was. Drinking I feel like some you beers. saw Russ. I thought you only had like two beers. Yeah, in my hand every and, single time. I know. <laughs> well, because it was two beers for one ticket. A lot of tickets. <laughs> <laughs> he was there for, I don't know how long he was there for, but I saw him for two minutes and then he was. He like had, our boss Russ was there? Yeah. Oh. Right when we got off stage after announcing all the rules. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. Have fun. Sit in the sand. Don't sit in the sand. No, he, he was there for like five minutes. Don't poop in the sand. That was a rule. It was not a rule. That's what Tom told me. Um. So, yeah, <laughs> he was there for a few minutes. Okay. You were standing right there. Did he have a, like a big smile? Yeah. Okay, good, because that's different. You look tap. <laughs> that's not something we <laughs> see from him a true. lot. That is not true. That's Tom you're thinking of. Russ Tom. smiles a lot. Tom, yeah, Tom's a mess. Seriously. It was so funny. These two girls who were so, 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 so cute. JC and, oh, what were their names? The Sunshine Band. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, they were so cute and so excited to be there. Okay. And we right when we got off stage... I was talking to them, and then Russ walked up, and he was just saying hi and bye to me. Tawny. Tawny. Yes, JC and Tawny. And he was he was just saying, hi, I'm here, just wanted to make sure everything was going well, and bye. And I said, oh, as I was talking to them, I turned around, I'm like, hey. And I said, oh, this is JC and Tawny. This is our boss, Russ, and they do this. Oh my gosh, Russ! Oh my gosh, Russs, you're Russ! Oh my, and See? he did not know what to do. Okay. He was like, <laughs> I think I would have remembered Big-eyed, that. Big eyed, staring straight ahead. Hi, hi! And I mean, they were so, so adorably fun. Was he wearing a suit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had a suit jacket on. And then a bathing suit bottom? No, I think he, he had he had what he had on it when he was oh, in okay. here. Jeans. His day had not finished yet. Okay. So jeans and like a sport coat or whatever he was wearing. Would have been funny if he had they gone were, swimsuit and then business suit. He, as a general manager, he is not used to pe- people being so excited to meet right. him. Right. He did not know what to do. Normally people are not excited to meet him. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? <laughs> They're looking to maybe get away from him. They're trying oh to figure that gosh, out. Oh my gosh, these girls, they were so funny. And he was awesome. like, oh, like deer in the headlights. <laughs> and then he left. <laughs> and well, he was leaving anyway. Okay. He didn't leave because of them. Okay. They probably made his night. <laughs> nice. And he talked to me? Well, I mean, you were standing right there. I don't know how you could have missed him. There were only like eight of us standing there. Yeah, I don't know that I was talking to him. I was talking to Nora. That's when Nora came up to me and said, can I come backstage? And I was like, it's not, we're right next to the stage. There's no backstage <laughs> here. So I, I, that's when I was talking to Nora, the girl whose hat I ended up uh-huh, wearing for the rest of the night. Nora. Yeah, so that, that's probably how I missed Russ. <clears throat> that's sad. Would have liked to have seen him. Well, hopefully he comes in today and you can see him. Because I had to hang out with Tom. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> You didn't have to hang out with Tom. It was awesome because I introduced Tom at the after party as this is my jerk boss, Tom, except mm-hmm. I'm cleaning it up for the radio. Mm-hmm. And then that's how everyone referred to him. The Hi, rest jerk of the boss, night, Tom. The rest of the night, that's how they referred to him. How was so, he with that? I don't know. We'll see today. Maybe a little 10 o'clock see, meeting. Th- this is the time where I wish he would come in here so we can actually discuss Address this with it. him. But he won't. No, he no. He will never come in here. No. Uh, and you were gone. I mean, there was no buffer. It was just me and Tom. And you thought that was the most hilarious thing ever, it probably. It was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was. Of course it was. Wake up. Wake up. Seeing Ed Sheeran on Channel 95.7 with Connie and Curtis. 747, 70 degrees. Woot woot. A lot of sevens. No seven in the high today, though. That's 84. Yeah. 84. This week is going to be so hot. So awesome and so summery. So humid. So perfect. Ugh. Yes. I hope it rains right on your house every day. You are the worst <laughs> friend ever. Just on your house. Seriously. On your house and on your pool. I have to mow my lawn today because uh, Haley said, what do you want for Father's Day? And I said, I just want you to mow the lawn. Aww. And she didn't. So now I have to mow the lawn. Oh. Yeah. Thanks a lot. That's all you asked for? And then later in the day, Katie said, you know what? I think maybe I'll mow the lawn. And then I looked over it, and there she was just watching TV. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody mowed the lawn yesterday. So I get to today. I get to get out there and do it. Actually, Katie said to me, do we really need to mow the lawn today? And we don't. Uh, and we're going to be camping all next week, so it makes no sense to like get it well-groomed. We really want to, like, I want to mow probably Thursday. Yeah. And then not mow again because I'll be I'll be just in the woods, right? right? Not caring about grass right. at all. So I may not mow until Thursday, but who knows? Well, if you mow today, and- I could mow again Thursday. Yeah, but isn't that a lot of mowing in one week? About twice a week we mow. Do you? <laughs> yeah. You got to keep it keep it looking good. Man, I have a neighbor who mows like every other day. I have a neighbor who mows every other day too, and it's very funny because last year I taught my 10-year-old daughter how to mow the lawn. Right. And I said, "This is your job. I'm going to pay you. This is how you make your allowance. This is your job." And I have a very big yard and yeah. she hated it. Like right. it she won't do it. This it year It wasn't worth the money to her, right? This year she has decided not to do it. So <laughs> she was out mowing one time and my neighbor decided to send their 10-year-old son out okay. to mow. And he made maybe three passes, and uh, his mom was out there finishing. Like, he got he demoted. It? No, he got demoted. Oh, because he, he didn't was do doing a bad job. job. Oh, he was doing no. a bad job. So he was demoted. He hasn't been back out. So then Haley saw that and had to keep going and going. So she, but she would, probably made good money from you last summer. And doing she would it. try to do a bad job, and I would make her redo it. <laughs> so that only went one oh, time because she, she saw him get out of mowing for doing a bad job. So then she started making all kinds of crazy lines. And I said, That you need to re mow that lawn. She's like, What do you mean? I said, I want straight lines. Mm-hmm. So she had to go back out and do it again. Oh, that no wonder made she didn't do it for Father's Day then. Made her day. But my neighbor, I mean, it doesn't even look like that lawn grows one centimeter. Boom, and he nails it. Yeah. <laughs> Always looks perfect. It's like those people who get, men usually do this. If anybody's going to do it, it seems like it's men who okay. get, they get their hair cut like every two weeks. Yes, you want it to look want nice. Want it to look exactly the same all the time. I'm freaking out because my hair is the longest that it's been in about a year. And a half, and mm-hmm. I don't like it. I don't know what to well, do. Go get it cut. I'm going to, but <laughs> I'm just saying. I understand that because I know I know what it's like. Yeah. And we're going to be out on Wednesday, uh, Thursday. We're going to be out uh, handing out strawberry shortcakes, and I want to have a nice looking haircut. Oh, this strawberry shortcake thing is so 
fun. Yeah, so it's the uh, Strawberry Shortcake Festival for Kids yep. going on Thursday, uh, 11 to 1. Two locations this year, not only at Rosa Park Circle, yep. where it has been for years and years and years with the Kiwanis Club, but also uh, the Gillette Pedestrian Bridge. Now, from noon until 1, we are going to be out at the Gillette Pedestrian Bridge. You'll one. find us. Five we'll bucks there. gets you Strawberry Shortcake. It's a great uh, cause, so you're, you're helping out Palmer Elementary School, the Girls Coral uh, Academy, Northbrook Academy. Uh, the DeVos Devo- Children's Hospital, yeah. Kids Food Basket, Money is going to all those things. Yep, so you're helping them out with your five dollar donation. But yeah. you know what? Uh, we're doing it uh, from noon until one at the uh, pedestrian bridge. We said we'd like to give some away, so uh, let's do that right now. Okay, so we have three five packs. So if you are caller nine, okay, caller ten. Or call her 11 at 7708957. We'll get you a five pack. Five strawberry shortcakes. So if you got a, the family, you want to bring them down, you can do that. I like yeah. my family. We got uh, we got five in the family. Right. Maybe you just want to grab them for your office. You work downtown. You want to like, cruise down to yeah. Rosa Parks or see us on the pedestrian bridge. You definitely can. 7708957. Call her nine, call her 10. And call her 11. This week is going to be a great week for strawberry shortcake. It is. And then. I don't remember the last time I had strawberry shortcake. Can I tell you how wonderfully my day is set up on Thursday? Okay. So What's from, happening? From noon until one, I'm out doing the uh, strawberry shortcake thing. Yep. And then at two, I have a dentist appointment to get all those seeds out of my teeth <laughs> and then mow the lawn and then vacation. Boom. Wow. Except to have to come in on Friday. Yes, I was going to say, <laughs> you're not leaving on Thursday, are you? I might. I don't know. I haven't <laughs> thought about it. Wait, wouldn't you it be can't gr- leave on Thursday. We have a show on Friday. Wouldn't it be great to get one more day in the woods, though? I mean, I'm going to be in the woods. You're going to be in the woods enough anyway. You're going to be ready. Oh, you're going to have somebody with mosquito bites? No, no, I'm going to be good because they, they don't seem to be attracted to like human flesh. Connie Curtis, who's this? Jennifer. 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 You want some strawberry shortcake on Yay! Thursday? <laughs> we got you a five pack of strawberry shortcakes. Uh, these things are five dollars a piece. So that's twenty five dollars worth of shortcake. Right that's a there. lot of strawberry shortcake, Jennifer. That is awesome. All awesome. right, hold on, hold on. You're our first winner. You got to make sure to come and see us. We'll be on the pedestrian bridge from noon until one. Connie and Curtis, who's this? Debbie. 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 You also got five strawberry shortcakes. Mm. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> So good. It's going to be so great with the whipped cream Hold and the on, shortcake Debbie. and the strawberries. Oh, love it. Now we have one more five pack to give away. Who is this? Uh, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> You're the winner. Awesome. Yeah, we, Are you in the mood for I'm, strawberry shortcake? Always. Yeah, oh, yeah me too. I think it not be. Me all right. Too. Hold on, Jessica. We'll get all your information. Nothing says We've got more tomorrow. Like corn on the cob and strawberry shortcake. Those are the two big things when you yeah. know you know that it is summertime. Because you don't get it. You don't get grilled corn. And you, at least That's in my true. house, we don't get to have strawberry shortcake unless it's the summertime. I've never made strawberry shortcake. What? I know. Are you in charge of making them on Thursday? No. Okay, you're just handing plates to people? Cause what I don't if, know what we're doing. What Maybe you, I am making them. What I don't know. What if you get the order wrong and you go strawberries and then <laughs> whipped cream and then cake and then it's like, that's a mess. Lady. I'm it's pretty sure down. I'll be able to figure it out. The nice thing about the shortcake is it has a little bowl. Like it's form like a bowl. So you right. put the strawberries, you put the, I go whipped cream. So cool whip. You put the cool whip in and then you put the strawberries on top. I think that's the wrong oh, way, isn't it? so good. And then a little more whipped cream right on top and ugh. Just delicious. Mm-hmm. So good. When All I was right. a kid, I used to eat it without strawberries. Because so who has just... time for fruit? <laughs> <laughs> just cake and cool it, please. <laughs> Let's All make right. this happen. We'll have more uh, strawberry shortcakes for you tomorrow morning Woo-hoo! at 7.54. Connie and Curtis. Connie.